Hi guys, I just wanted to share my setup for this month in my traveler's notebook. It's going to be a bit different because I'm going to be away from home. So I put together like a little travel kit of bare necessities of what I'm going to take with me. And then I've also switched out my traveler's notebook just for this month. So that's going to suit me and what's happening with us in our, in our lives so that um, it's going to be useful for me. So I've taken out the journaling inserts that I had in there just for this month. So if you've watched my previous video, you know, this is my personal journal and these two are for my kids. So in here, I've just been writing to them and I'm really enjoying doing that. But I know that while we're away from home, realistically, we're going to be so busy that I'm not going to get the chance to sit down and do that the way I've been doing it. So I've taken them out and um, I've also taken out my personal journal because again, I'm not going to get a chance to continue with it the way I've been doing it um, this month because it's just going to be a full on month. What I really need this month is something to keep me organized. And so I've switched this out so that it's going to be a bit more, I guess, a bit more of a planner. But also there's a place to do some journaling if I feel like that as well. So I'll show you how I've changed this out and then I'll show you what I've packed. So in here I have got, first of all, I've just got one of those little plastic folders. I've just again got my business card so it's got my personal details if I lose this. And um, I've got this little to-do pad. This is a Kiki K one that came in a planner that I had. I put it in there because I'm going to need a lot of little pull-off tail lists while we're away because just getting the last minute things ready for the wedding. Then I've got one of these little folders and again I've got more little lists and stuff. Some of them I've already filled out because we're getting married back home. There's a lot of stuff we still have to, just the last little details we need to organize when we get there. Just covered up some personal information there but more sticky notes in there and then just some lists that I've written to keep us organized. Inside here is actually a copy of our guest list so that um, when we're away we can keep track of it. So I'm just keeping that handy in case we need it. I've also got my little alphabet stencil in here. So in my traveler's notebook itself I've made it so that a lot of the stuff I'm packing is actually in the book itself and then there's some extra things in the pencil case. So in this little zip pocket I have a bit of ephemera, not much at all. I've really narrowed it down. There's a couple of dies and stuff in there, which I won't pull out. But then there's a couple of little packets of stickers, some Project Life cards, scrap paper, some random little sticker sheets and stuff in there. So not much. Again, just random stuff that I tend to use. I don't know if I'll actually get the chance to use this stuff anyway. I may just... It may just be literally pen and paper because I don't know how busy I'm going to be, but I like that the option's there. Then I have my little insert that I, I had in there before, my little kind of planner insert. This is my daily to-do list thing where I just write what I need to do that day. So I'm keeping that in there. And then in the middle, I just put a little calendar that I made. So it just slips in and out and... Um, that's just going to help me keep up to date with sort of when I need to upload YouTube videos and all the things that are happening in the month. But that's just going to be a little place I can keep organised and keep on track with what needs to be done. Then I have another little plastic insert and this time I just have my washi samples in there, nothing in there. And in the back I just have bits of scrap paper in case I feel like decorating a page or something. And in the other little zippy pocket, I actually put these little pens that I got on eBay a while ago. And I put them in there just because they're so narrow. They're narrow little pens. And because I took my journals, my journal inserts out of the traveler's notebook, um, I had space to spare in here. So I thought this way, if all I have on me is my notebook, I've got my pens I won't need this to actually write if I need to. So those are in there. They don't add that much bulk, really. I mean, it's not that chunky, I don't think. 
so this will probably stay in my bag. And then in the back, I have an insert where I can do journaling and stuff about what's whatever's happening during the month, things I want to remember. And this is an insert that my friend Liz made for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to use this to kind of journal if I feel like it, maybe do some drawing, whatever. It depends whatever happens while we're away. Whatever I get time for, I'm not expecting to have much time realistically, but the option is there. So beautiful insert in the back there. So that's my traveler's notebook ready for our trip away. And now I'll just show you in the pencil case. So again, I've really narrowed down supplies and I'm taking a very, very minimal amount because I don't want to carry too much and probably not even get to use it. So this will be, my notebook will be in my bag all the time because I will need to use that. But the pencil case will probably just be my suitcase and I don't know if I'll even get the chance to pull it out. But basically, by the way, this is a hard top pencil case. I think the brand is Smash and I bought it from Officeworks in Australia ages ago. And then it has this little piece in the middle. I don't even know how you're supposed to use these weird elastic things but I just have a pair of little scissors in there in case I need them and then in the back I have another little pencil case. This is a little case I've had for a while. It's got the plastic on the front and the mesh on the back and in here I'm just keeping a couple of pens that I like. So I've been really liking the Precision Pens by American Crafts for writing. I'm just taking one because when I really love something I don't want to take it with me traveling because the chances are it could get lost. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I take a minimal amount because I don't want to carry all of my favorite things and then lose them somewhere. So one preci precision, one precision pen. I've got a uni pen fine line. This is 0 0.6 in black. I've got my uni ball Signo white pen. And then I've got two Micron pens. I've got it in 0, 02 and 0, 08. So again, really minimal amount of black, black and white, just um, basic pens to have. I've got one little half used roll of double sided tape. And then in the other little section, I'm just taking two distress stain colors. So again, as much as I could probably fit more in here and I would love to take up other colours, I really don't want to take my favourite things. What if these get stuck in the car and they get heated up and they get all mouldy and gross? You know how distress stains tend to go bad, so I'm only taking two. I'm taking uh, picked raspberry and mustard seed. And then I'm taking just four rolls of washi tape. But remember that I have the samples of washi tape in my actual notebook, so I've got just a couple of florals, like a newspaper print and a bright blue pretty sheet. And then I have my I have my eraser. So this is a I think this is a Faber Castell one that you stretch. So it's kind of feels like blue tack, but you stretch it and um, mould it around and that cleans it. And I just realized that I didn't even pack a pencil yet, so I'll have to pack um, some pencils in there. And then, and then I have a pencil sharpener. So again, I need to grab some pencils and put them into my little travel kit because there's no use taking these without them. But yeah, that's all I'm going to take with me. I would also be taking a glue stick and a travel stapler, but I, my glue sticks ran out and I don't have a travel size stapler. I only have this size at the moment and it's just way too bulky to take with me so while I'm away I'll probably grab a little stapler and a little glue stick and that will be it. So that's what I plan on taking on my little on my little trip this month and when I get back I will be super excited to share with you guys our wedding photos. So I have a couple of uh, videos lined up that I've tried to keep backed up for the second half of this month when I'm going to be away from home so that I can publish them for you guys and still be a little bit active on my channel but if for some reason that doesn't happen I will be back next month with some more videos for you guys and yeah I hope you all have a really 
good month and I will be speaking to you again soon. Bye.